We're back, and we are in our kitchen for the first time. What do you think? Huh? Pretty nice, our little kitchen? Huh? We're gonna, we will be doing a lot of cooking on this show. Let me show you something. This is, this is a, a feature that no other show has. It's called an oven cam. Hi, how are you? Hey. Ah, then you know you're in trouble. Okay, so because I love to cook, and, today, and, and because we got this kitchen, today we have a very popular chef here to teach us how to make croissant French toast with soft caramel apples. It's not just Italian food on the Tony Danza Show. Please welcome the host of Food Network's How to Boil Water and Food 911, Tyler Florence. Tony, how are you, man? Good to see you. Uh, I'm Look at this. Here, huh? hey? This is fantastic. Nice kitchen. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, and coming cool. from you, that means a lot. Especially, I mean especially about the, the old, like, the, the uh, oven cam. I think you it's like that? Look, hey, let's everybody. get together. How are you? Hey, everybody. Hey, how, how are you? Doing? Awesome. <laughs> great. Cool. So you, got, you guys want some breakfast? You guys hungry, huh? Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, so Tyler, wait. Before we start, what, I mean, you, you know, you're this guy, a real guy. How, what made you want to be a chef? I started, I started washing dishes in a restaurant in my hometown in Greenville, South Carolina, uh, about, I guess, like, about 15 years ago. I was like, I, was, I started washing dishes when I was 15, and the girl I was going out with at the time, her parents owned the coolest restaurant in town. So I started, uh, I started washing dishes, and all of a sudden, I, I, like, the chef who was in the restaurant, he was this great guy, and the coolest thing about it, like, women would come see him every night and you drove this big Harley. I'm like, that's the guy. That's exactly who I, I want to be. You know? That's oh, kind of okay. a cool guy. So I, I, <laughs> I totally get it. I totally get it. So at that point, the career had chosen me. So, uh, so I've been cooking um, on the Food Network. i got a couple of great shows, Food 911, How to Boil Water, which is a new show I just came out with, and Tyler Zoltan, which is well, cool. Well, good. Too. We wish you luck with all of that. So, so, what, appreciate it. so what are we making? Okay, we're, making the, we're making croissant French toast. This is one of the great recipes out of my cookbook called Real Kitchen. And what we do, Tony, why don't you crack three eggs in that bowl right there, right? Gotcha. Look at, you got the old one-handed trick? There you go. Man. I can do that. Egg cracker okay. from way back, right? All right, a little bit of a little bit of milk. A little bit of milk. All right, a little all, bit. Of, all of it. Yeah, the other whole thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're doing is we're making a batter for the French toast, right? A little bit of cinnamon. cinnamon. Right, a little bit of vanilla. There you go. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. The whole thing's good, man. A lot of cinnamon. The whole really nice. thing. Okay. The whole thing. A little vanilla. Oh, oh. Hey, it's hey. That's all right. I thought it was you gonna have one of those little drop Don't worry about things. You know. All right, so get that good, get that good toss. Uh, That's this. cool. All right, so this is the basic, this is a, uh, a basic particular recipe. And what's so great about this recipe? We're not making French toast. We're making French toast out of croissants, right? Wow. Oh, and we're also gonna uh, like sort of sandwich caramelized apples in between the whole thing, right? This is a really delicious recipe. Okay. Cool. Okay, so Tony's got that working, right? So this is the bottom of the whole thing. If you can't find croissants, regular toast will work out just fine sure. with this, right? So we got some apples here. Now, I got some Granny Smith apples that are peeled. All right, I'm gonna cut these into wedges like this, right? Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do, actually, let me cut the core out. And what we're gonna do is uh, caramelize them and a little bit of, um, a little bit of sugar, all right, mm -hmm. a little bit of butter, and a little bit of maple syrup, okay? And let it kind of cook into a pan wow. until they get nice and soft, right? And look oh, at that, you that's beautiful. see this. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. All, that's oh, all that's fantastic. Beautiful. Okay, so th they, they really taste delicious. And because you know it's almost like fall in New York City, this is what's really nice, and it tastes delicious. So right? it's maple syrup, butter, and sugar. How bad can that be? That sounds, sounds good to me. Right? <laughs> all right, cool. All right, guys. Now what I have in this pan, I've got a little bit of melted butter. All right, and we're gonna take a croissant, right? A big fat croissant. Actually, croissants that are um, a day old actually work out really well with this particular recipe because they're a little dry. And I think and you really can get them cheaper too. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Right. A place out in Brooklyn, right? Day old bread. You never <laughs> used to buy day old bread. Right. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. So I took a croissant, right? Cut yeah. it. Right Right in half, okay. And what are you gonna do, Tony? Why don't you just dip that, dip one half in like that? Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Now I've got the pan. Now, Not so both sides, am I right? Oh uh, yeah, the whole thing. Just give it a good dunk. Okay. There you go. Like right. it from Brooklyn. That, that's there that's my man. There you go. Cool. Okay. Now we're gonna drop that in. All right. So I've got this on like a medium low temperature, right? So you don't want it too high because you want the eggs to burn. And what and what's gonna happen is the whole thing's gonna start to cook. And we'll do both pieces. So we get like that nice sandwich thing going on. Sure. All right. So we got two pieces like that, right? So we're gonna drop these in and let them cook like at a sort of a low kind of medium low temperature like that. And these are gonna cook in probably like three or four minutes. They're gonna be absolutely fantastic. It's cool. So, uh, so we got that. These are looking really delicious. These are kind of cool. And we also got some other stuff, which is great too. Check these out, right? We've got uh, some uh, soft scrambled eggs, mm. avocado and smoked salmon. That's delicious, right? You guys, wow. big, I love that. Now and this is- really, salad? And this is really cool too. This is one of my great recipes out of the book. And this is a ricotta tart. And also because this is like this time of year, you guys like fresh tomatoes, I like heirloom tomatoes, tomatoes, right? right now, Italian you guy, tomatoes. Right? Absolutely, right. So uh, this is like a really cool recipe too, right? So I've got I've got uh, a ricotta tart, right? Which is basically kind of like a, a, a simple pie crust with eggs, fresh ricotta cheese, a little bit of roasted garlic, and it's really delicious for like a brunch kind of thing, right? Yeah, I like everything you make. Tyler, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not playing around, Tony. You have me on the uh, show. You're gonna get it. Oh, That's all baby. I got. 
That's all I gotta say, man. All right, so we're gonna, so we're gonna put some really beautiful fresh heirloom tomatoes on top of this. All right, also some fresh olives and stuff like that. And that's a really kind of a great brunch just like that. And it's just really, really delicious. All right, we'll take a look at these guys I'm right here. I'm salivating here, I gotta tell, tell you. man. I'm, I'm glad to be here. We need a spatula, here. there it is. Okay, okay. cool, so now take a look at this, right? So in about two minutes flat, all right, they're gonna get nice and brown. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna flip them over on one side, flip them over on the other, let the other side kind of brown. And then we're gonna sandwich them up with a little bit of caramelized apples. And they are just the bomb. All man. right, so let's put them really together. Delicious. Let's taste this. All right, cool. Okay, this is what they look like oh, when they come out, it. right? Yeah. Absolutely, really, really great. All right, so you can tell they start some nice and caramelized, right? All right. Got two pieces just like that. Okay, a little bit of powdered sugar. Boom, like that. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, get out let's of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. Oh, this looks great. This looks great. Isn't that great? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Go on. Read that. I got it. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Tony's got his mouth full. You get my cookbooks, real kitchens, and bookstores all across the country. And I've also got a great product line at Mervin's on the West Coast. You can check it out. It's called Real Kitchen. You can also pick it up at Mervin's.com. Pick it up. Check it out. I'm glad. Look at this man. Tony Danza, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Danza.